Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel. We're going to be playing Divinity Original Sin 2. I haven't, I haven't played Divinity Original Sin and I haven't played the beta of this game, so um, a lot of this is going to be new to me, although I have seen um, Game Night and Thalic Records um, 3 play through during the um, closed beta, so I do know something of the game. Um, we're going to go with story mode because, um, as you know, we're all about story around here. I would love to do multiplayer, but um, until I find someone that I can co-op with, it's going to be just the single player. Because I'm new to the game, um, I think we can go classic mode. Explorer mode is probably, uh, you know, once I get to, to know the game, it's probably going to be a bit too easy for me. Um, tactical and honor mode then just gives me options in the future to um, to kind of up the difficulty for myself and give myself a new challenge. Okay, and then we shall begin. So with these videos, I'm gonna try to keep them um, below 30 minutes because I want to um, upload at least some of them onto VidMe, and until I get verified on VidMe. Um, it means that I there's an upload um, limit of uh, 30 minutes on there, so I have to keep the any episodes that I want to put up below that. So what I'll do is I'll probably end up doing two episodes a week on this. Um, so instead of one long episode, just two shorter episodes. Okay, um, and what I know as well is that um, the... The origin instead of the... So I was originally thinking, oh, let's make um, a custom character. It'd be really cool. But um, I know that the actual... You get them, the origin have their own story. And as well, that kind of affects um, how... Like, there's more story to be learned during the game as well about, about those people. So I think I'm going to go with... Um, where is she... Not the Red Prince. With Sybil here. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Sybil. So, um, let's customize her then. So, do I want to be an Enchanter or Fighter? Inquisitor. Definitely don't want to be an Inquisitor. A Knight. Mm. Maybe a Ranger. Ranger seems, seems good. A rogue, shadow blade maybe, warfare. Well, I've seen her as a warfare um, on game nights once, so I don't think I want her to. Be, although she was really was kick ass as a ranged, I don't think I want to. Do. So, um, what does rogue do? A lot of skill. That look, this rogue sees the world as an open copper. Okay, Shadow Blade, a powerful assassin whose arsenal of both daggers and magic will terrify any enemy if they ever saw it coming. Okay, so that's. That'd be a lot of sneaky kind of stuff. Um, I've never really been a sneaky type character, so that might be difficult for me to pull off. Okay, uh, Metamorph adapts to dangerous situations with tr uh, transformational. Tricks of nature. No, I don't think I want to see that. Um, knight. Train not only to fight but to rally troops. Okay. We definitely don't want to be an inquisitor. Fighter. Enchanter. No. Conjurer. No. Cleric. Maybe. Battle mage. Mm, interesting. Wizard, Witch, and then back to Warfare, okay. So I think it's going to be between Battle Mage and Cleric. I have to say I like um, playing Clerics in games, so like um, if you look at my avatar, it's actually an avatar of a White Mage, which is the Final Fantasy equivalent of a Cleric, or as close to a Cleric as you can get. So I think we're going to go um, with Claire here. Then I want to um, customize her appearance. So 
Um, let's change her hair color. Or skin color first. So I want her uh, to have maybe that type of skin. Okay. Then face. Um, I want to check out the ears because I wanted to have what I consider like those kind of the, they're a bit too floppy for me. I like kind of these kind of pointing up type ears. So let's go with that hairstyle then. Definitely not bald. Um, that looks like she's got like a fruit basket or something on her head. So I don't think we're going to go with that. Nor that. Or that. Mm, no. Okay. No, I don't like with nothing. That's a bit severe. Yeah, that one looks good because it's a bit oriental. So I like that. Um, then hair color. That would be nice, but except that it blends too much with um, her head dress. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. And then uh, we can't do facial features. Okay, and then back here. So why can't I change her voice for it to be Sybil? I'm not sure, but maybe the warrior is Sybil. Um, now let's listen to her origin story. I used to be a slave, kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Don't Dearest you see it on to control my very thoughts. Maybe it's your skin. But now color. the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him, I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Oh. Whoever the master is, he's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, I like that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure about this. Kind of the 1980s Charlopats that she's rocking at the moment. Um, so, is there anything we can do about her? Clothes. I don't think so. Guess we're gonna have to stick with her for now. So let's start. Yes, we're done. Okay. So we got a character ready. We're gonna be Sybil. Um, I saw Sybil in Gay Knight and Thalic Re Recus um, playthrough, and she was really kick-ass. Um, like. On it range reference. Like I knew it would. Oh. A single drop of source magic. She looks scary. Very scary. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the Magisters pointed their fingers at me. <laughs> Just as I'd planned. Oh. As someone who I was can do something like that. Collared, and sent to Fort Joy. She's not someone to mess with. Definitely not. I like the style I'd of the cutscenes. But instead, I became part of their story. You could almost imagine this being like a pop-up book. It'd be cool. And I don't know whether um, Larian Studios actually did like an art book for the game or not. But to have that art there as a pop-up, I think it'd be really cool. Okay, so uh, straight away... Starting out like this kind of reminds me of Planescape Torment. That's how you start out in that game. Okay. Ugh, what a dismal way to wake in the belly of the beast. Let's see if I can grope my way out. Yeah, let's see. Let's go over here first. Hey, nothing there. Mm, 
Okay. Oh, some stuff we can take here. Let's grab that. Um, anything else? Let's grab that. And let's grab that. And this as well, I guess. Okay. You're up. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. Ah, shut up, potty cow. There. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Yeah, when you're leashed someday, you won't be saying that, will you? In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. Okay, so he's the chief dick, you mean? You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officers' quarters. By the room shape, I can tell that we're on a Lucian class frigate. But what I don't understand is why. Why? Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Yeah, don't be giving roofies to people. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits. Yeah, if full of joy. You're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source for good. Okay, so, um, why this collar around my neck? What's the story? Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. No, I won't, actually. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. Promise. No, I said no, so should My, I... My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have collared you at all, though it does look darling on you. Yeah, well, I can punch you in the face still. So let's just leave it on, shall we? Because, to answer your question, what the collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast sores. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Yeah, yeah. Of course it's for my own good. Oppressors have been saying that about people all, of, all the time, like all down through history. So we could steal that book, but not with her there. Okay. Right, what's up with you, lady? A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Okay, so she's like a first timer, very nervous. Um, itchy trigger finger, <laughs> itchy trigger finger, and all that. What about you, buddy? You're probably the grizzled um, veteran, eh? Behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. There's another fool in there as well, though. Look. Let's um ask what happened. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Wasn't Lucky me, buddy. You were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Yeah, yeah. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. She's in there talking to herself. And I bet her always finding the culprit is that she basically goes, they did it, and then everybody believes her, and then that person gets killed, um, even though they say that they didn't do it. And no one cares if they actually did or not, because someone has been executed for the crime. You surprised? You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. How do was a man? Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. She will. Oh, we can't actually go in, I guess, then. Oh, we can. Ha! Ah. Screw you guys. Right. So we've got a chair. Eee. 
Do we really want to search the dead guy? Let's just talk Ugly to you. Sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Let's see. You weren't his protector, you were his captor. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Having um, what some people would consider a gift, but you consider it a curse. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... Yeah, it wasn't me. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. Good. Did you read me a bedtime story, maybe? You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Could. Maybe. Yeah. Um, actually, no, that's a trick I haven't quite mastered yet. I thought as much. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Why am I helping you? Lead and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. Oh, How about that? Wow, a whole gold coin. <laughs> you really think I'd help a magister when you keep me under lock and key? No chance, think lady. Think about it. It's one of you who got killed, not one of us. We want to find who did it and bring them to justice. No, you just want to find someone to kill. Who's and your say, real enemy here? Uh, definitely you. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Yes, they are. Okay. Troubled waters. So that's why she was called waters. Let's put it here. Uh, something to take there. No, nothing to take. Okay. Put it here. Looks like nothing. Nothing. Okay. There is a stairs up though. Let's go here. Let's check there. Ah, there we go. Ten gold. Aha. You and your one gold, and we just got ten, huh? What do you think of that, lady? Uh, we'll take the bedroll as well. Thank you. Uh, there's a barrel in here. We'll check that. Oh, what well, we got? Um, stained pants. Yes. Always need stained pants for maybe if you're redecorating, they'll be pretty good to use. Mm -hmm. So once we get ourselves um, a place of our own, we can maybe redecorate it. Uh, that's locked. Okay. Don't think she can pick locks. No, she can't pick. Check that thing. We have some noisy people down here. Okay, let's start with you. Sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. Cool. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, ghetto. You hear that? What is it I'm meant to be hearing? The ship, of course. Okay. Let's a wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates, the groaning of wood from floor to ceiling, the boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you, complaints from the sea itself. And? The sea sounds angry. It's like it's trying to capsize the ship. The fellow cocks his ear, listening. That isn't anger. It's... He cocks his ear to the other side, then smug anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. Why, what does she sense? That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Okay, I will. There now, just like that. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Ah, this is good news, ghetto. Good news. Yes, I heard it, but 
What's it supposed to be? It's the wheel, the wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. Oh, I see. Okay. Burn my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Why are you so excited about reaching Fort Joy? I haven't heard anything good about the place. Yeah, no indeed, Gero. But that ain't my final destination. Oh, so what is? The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, Gero. Gero? Who the hell are you calling Gero? Uh, let's leave him be for now. How about you? What have you got to say? Did you see the body? They ought to let you taste a bit. Maybe you'd find out who done it. Yes, yeah, Sybil has. Sybil can eat um, arms, legs, and heads from dead people and get some of their memories. Coming out of plague stricken pigs. Okay. How about you? Well, well. So what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you for up what? and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. No, we don't, buddy. Smack. My, we are fierce, aren't we? Not to worry. I'll soon remedy that. You won't get the chance. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? I'm not answering your damn question. Get lost, you fool. Goodness gracious me, what a bore. Off with you. Quite clearly, you wouldn't have done at all, sure. Yeah, well, whatever it was, I'm sure that I didn't want any part of it anyway, so... Stuff your offer where the sun don't shine, buddy. There's something else here. Let's talk to you. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Oh, no. You poor thing, you don't have your slaves anymore. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. I know, it's such a scandal. Let's not talk to her anymore. Let's talk to you. Oh, you can't, okay. I've seen more appetizing things coming out of Oh yeah, um, I didn't pick the thing that would let me fall in sauce me. An elf? Wow. I want to be an elf when I grow up, but without the scar. How are you gonna manage that? And who are you? Hmm. You look a little bit elfish. Maybe your daddy was an elf. My daddy's name is Frida. He's waiting for me at home. I'll go home soon. Ah, no you won't, sorry kid. You ain't living for joy ever. I forgot how to say I did. Okay, so we've been there. Can we actually go up here? Let's try it. Let's see what's outside. Ah, the hatch is blocked. No. I'll need to find another way. Okay. Give you that knuckle if you keep carrying on. <laughs> dwarfs being as dwarfs are, I guess. <laughs> You're the register, ma'am. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. Oh, great. We're just in time. Okay so far? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, none of your business, though. Glad to hear it. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Oh, get me sorted. Oh, great. Register me as a prisoner. Won't that be delightful? Oh, some gold. Thank you. Anything else we can take? Yeah. Let's take that. Let's take that. And let's take that. And let's take the flower pot. <laughs> let's just steal everything we can. Uh, let's take this. And this. And this. And this. Yeah, we're stealing your dinner. And the plates, apparently, as well. Okay. Maybe that's enough, though. 
Now, let's go Standing see what the, the story is. The room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by... Is she the lady from the um, cutscene? So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh, really? She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Yeah, yours, you weirdo. Oh, God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. I'm not your lapdog. Screw you. Uh, let's talk to her. Hey, sources, what did you mean by there are others whose lives must end? What's the deal? It means your journey draws to a close. Don't you threatening me? For its finale, though, because she reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh. I'm just about to create a scene. Oh, okay. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Okay, we got a fight. Let's go. Oh my god, that didn't last really long. <laughs> First fight, you get knocked down, and boom, everything's done. What's, what's okay. Happened? okay, so we got um, 400 XP. Um, and what I'll do is, at the ne start of the next episode, I'll have a look through the journal and all the notes and stuff that we got. But for now, we're out of time for this episode. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, please consider um, hitting the like button and sharing with, you know, some of your friends or um, on your favorite social platform because it really does help um, for a new series to get a bit of traction with stuff like that. But for right now, I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.